and Pete Thorne, and I'm here to talk about the Axe FX2 from Fractal Audio. So I've been an Axe FX user for quite some time, and I thought, uh, how can I show off the new Axe FX2 to you? So I, uh, what I did was I played a song down from my new album, which is called Guitar Nerd, and uh, the song was homage. You heard it at the beginning of the video. This is available at iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, everywhere else. That's me on the cover when I'm 10. I'm at Sears. Um, so uh, basically I came up with five presets in the Axe FX2 and I've got the uh, MFC 101 foot controller in front of me also from Fractal and I'm switching between those five presets to play the song down from top to bottom. So I'll just run down these sounds for you really quick. Okay so the first one up is a uh, uh, American style clean sound and uh, it sounds something like this. Okay, so I love that tone. It's a really warm, beautiful, clean tone that'll break up a bit if you lay into it, especially on the neck pickup, which I'm using. But if you play light, it's clean. And uh, I think I'm using the Vibroverb amp sim on that. And it's got some univibe on it and some delay and reverb and stuff. Okay, so next up's the first B section. And I'm using the bridge pickup now on the guitar. On this guitar, it's a Sir Classic S. I've got the uh, tone control wired only to the bridge pickup so I can warm it up a lot, which is it's nice, like a Scott Anderson, Eric Johnson thing. Um, okay, <coughs> it sounds like this. I'm using the buttery amp sim. Okay, so it's just a nice low gain uh, melody tone. And that buttery amp sim is great for that in the Axe FX2. It's really cool. Okay, next up is the second B section, and uh, in this I'm kind of going for uh, Jeff Beck vibe. The song's called Homage, and I'm sort of wearing my influences on my sleeve, I feel like, in this tune. Um, so I played with my fingers, much like Jeff does a lot, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using the Carol Ann OD2 amp sim on the axe, and uh, it's just a really nice, warm, fat lead tone. I'm not using too much gain, but I wanted that harmonic to pop out a bit. So, uh, playing with your fingers is really fun. It's like you get kind of a different um, bloom to the note and a different attack. There's just a lot of color you can get out of playing with your fingers. So, uh, here's like that one lick. <laughs> It reminds me of like a saxophone type tone or something. When you play with a pick, you know, the attack's a lot more defined and sharp, but maybe the bloom is different. Okay, so that brings us up to the uh, Kind of what I would think of as the solo. The whole song feels like a solo to me, but um, I go for kind of a cranked Fender thinner combo tone uh, on this. It sounds like this. Okay, so it's kind of fun. I got a bit of slap delay and reverb happening on it, and it just sounds like a cranked up like uh, Tweed Deluxe or something to me. <laughs> Okay, and the last tone that I use is a uh, called the Shiva Lead, which is, I believe, modeled after a Shiva amp, and it's much more like a modern uh, uh, high gain tone, and it sounds like this. Okay, I used a bit of ducking delay on that. It's set to duck very mildly, only like 5 or 6 dB or something, just so it doesn't get in the way when you're playing fast. But uh, that's it pretty much. So I really like the tones that I was able to come up with. And, you know, the Axe is an amazing tool. It's like I can sit here and come up with, uh, you know, basically a multi-amp rig and switch between all these different sounds, and it's all in a two-rack space unit. So it's exciting times. Um, all right, see ya. I am Pete Thorne. Bye.